Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we're here with another Mortal Kombat Onslaught video. Today's video will be ranking every four to five star Netherrealm character. It's time to make some of y'all upset. <laughs> some of y'all very angry with me, which is okay. I love to see. I love. To, I, don't make, I don't love to make you guys angry, obviously, but like I love to start the discourse around the game itself. So let's get started. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, whether you're old or new. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. And now let's get right into it. So starting off. First off, I just want to say, um, all these units are good, like, fantastically good, like, they, the game would be so different without them, so, I just want to say, like, from, it starts from, it starts from peak, to, and it ends to immaculately peak, so, like, it means, like, they're all good, but, like, in terms of, this is just me, again, this is me, this is not, like, verbatim, this is not the official word, okay, this is just what I think, me personally, you do not have to follow it, your opinion can be different, that's totally okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So again, it starts from peak and it ends at immaculately peak, meaning, meaning, no, this is the best unit for me, in my opinion, like the best netherrealm person in the in the tag, I guess, overall, right? So, starting off, and don't even pay attention to the other five stars here. I'm just using the old asset from my old um, to this video. Um, okay, so starting off, the man Quan Chi. I don't think this man would like. I don't think this game would honestly be what it is without Quan Chi here like when I first got him I thought he was literally just like whatever a pushover like because I thought this was like a whole character based thing it wasn't you know beating upon his kit I thought he was just a pushover whatever but when I got to using him for like that one video I did this man is amazing he literally was a fa not was he is a fantastic unit he, they made him perfectly crafted as all things should be it was I don't know how they did it but they made sure like this man was like a force to be reckoned with and after not not the nerf it wasn't really a nerf it was just his ability i'm pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly it now applies to all another own teammates except his teammates in general don't get me wrong like the whole teammates in general thing that's great right but again if you're making a team based um like a team oriented character or tag i guess then you're gonna want it to you know just have like a team based um abilities or whatnot right so for me, I'm putting Quan Chi here because his overall support for the Netherrealm team is just, it's gonna, it ages beautifully. Like, I don't see anyone else replacing that unless they make like another version of Quan Chi from MK1 and that's just <laughs> even more insane than this one. Like, if they make it up to par with MK1 Shang Tsung, then you can see a top contender. But yeah, no, for now, again, this <sighs> Quan Chi, like, he's just, he's too good. He's honestly, he's. I don't, what were they thinking making? I'm sorry. It's just, I, I, I look at units sometimes, I'm like, okay, this makes sense. This is balanced. And don't get me wrong, Quan Chi he is balanced for the most part. But it's like, when you look at what he does for his teammates, it's just like, it's just absurd, right? It's just, it makes you wonder, like, what's like the design process behind it? Especially with the vampirism damage, because that paired up with a couple of characters, like, for instance, Noob Saibot, or even with Scarlet, maybe. That, that could do some serious, serious damage. Even Revenant Katana too, even though she's not part of the Netherrealm tag, which, again, it still blindsides me because Hellfire Scorpion, he is a Revenant, and in the Netherrealm tag, both of them, she's a Revenant, but she doesn't have the tag of Netherrealm. So, eh, that's honestly whatever. Um, but yeah, no. She, once she gets to her combo 3, she also has Vampirism damage upon her kit too. So, again, he, he's just able to work around a lot. So, that's why I'm putting him at immaculately immaculately peak next up is noob cybot the four star well the starting off four star one i will put him at super duper peak listen i understand he i get it. i even made a new video saying how i how wrong i was about noob cybot i didn't get it I, I honestly feel um view you guys on why you'd probably put him at immaculately peak or even higher than that to be honest right and i get it it's just for me personally in terms of viability and i'm not saying he's not reliable by any means or not viable by any means he absolutely is and again he's a fantastic defensive option for the four star you get as him right i just think there's some he's just better i'm not saying this he's bad by any means again i'm not saying he's bad i'm just saying like like compared to this man right here I'm not saying he's bad again I'm not saying he's bad I have to reiterate because some people will get mad at me for just saying but it's for putting him here i'm not saying he's bad by any means i'm just saying better option but that's just for me personally so you're free to disagree 
Um, but yeah, no, his defensive capabilities are really insane. Um, again, I've seen gameplay on it. I've tried it myself. And again, people still get mad for my gears. And I will always tell you guys, I don't care about the gears. I know how they work. I just don't care enough to do about it. Like, I, I would if I wanted to. But again, I just don't care. So, again, if that's why my gears look so low. That's the last time I'm saying it. The reason why my gears are so low is because I don't care. If I, if I really did, they would be the highest tier that you would see but i get i don't care that's why they're low level unless it's like it's a character i really really like enjoying like for my scorpion i i generally put some high gears into him obviously um mk1 scorpion to be specific now i've put some proper gears into him but like for everyone else like it's just like nah, you know what i mean but you know that's that's my deal with um with new but again he is a good unit fantastic unit and if you have like no not no other option but like for another realm team that you're running especially he is a staple he really is a staple but it, depending on like what you're d deciding to run, um, it can be interchangeable. Maybe I don't know. Actually, how much nether room? I think there's four or five. Well, without excluding three star like undead characters or whatever, um, the only there's only these two left as nether room characters. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I genuinely don't think there's any other nether room characters. Which is a shame, by the way. They really need some more. Um, now they're fleshing out more to combat one characters, which is fine in my eyes. But I mean, again, it wouldn't be it wouldn't kill me at the moment. Actually, no, we're actually missing um, the regular Scorpion that you get. But like, I'm not gonna do him today because he starts off with three star. We're just doing four stars and up today. I'm pretty sure he starts off three star. If I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm pretty sure he's three star exclusive. Um, so next up, we have Shadow Mancer Noob Saibot, and I just want to say, I've looking back again i've studied upon it a little bit more he's that guy he he's that for me i think I'm, ho I'm holding some bias towards quan chi because of how much fun i've had him i wasn't able to use noob sidebooks i don't have them obviously because that's just how gotcha games were for me i don't get the new unit at all anymore um so i might ha i might have a little bias towards quan chi because of that reason right but from what i've seen and what i've experienced facing up against him in the arena He's a force to be reckoned with. I don't think he should be taken lightly by any means. Like again, both new sidebars, the both new sidebars are freaking amazing. But I think he's a, he's he's better. He's absolutely better. And you can you can make the argument that it's because he's his, his, his five star rating, and you can absolutely say that. And I don't blame you for that. But um, I just I'm just I'm just putting it out here again. I might not see a lot of his value because I don't have him, right? I'm not able to use him on the Netherrealm team because I don't have him as a character. But for what I'm reading right now on the Mortal Kombat web, uh, Mortal Kombat Onslaught website, um, the like the database to be specific, um, looking at his effects, special meter drain, boost, decrease, buff, and heal. Again, that, all that stuff is fantastic, man. Healing itself is low-key absurd, but then special meter drain on top of that. Again, special meter drain for me is a busted ability. Because again, only a few characters have that in the game. She's one of them. She she can do that. Um, but having this and then <laughs> just being a support unit, and I'm guessing um, it, somewhere I'm not, maybe he'll do vampirism damage. I'm not sure if I go look back. Um, no, no vampirism damage. But he does apply heal and attack buff. But he does apply heal and an attack buff for duration. So honestly. That's also freaking fantastic too. And with Quan Chi dealing the fan vampirism damage, he can heal his teammates too. So they, this could be a bunch of healing going back and forth throughout this team, right? And also the incoming special damage decrease. Like, dude, let's like let's be real here. Decreasing damage too. Like, like who made you like this? Like, what wh what Nether Realm uh, dev decided? Like, you know what? Just just sabotage the opponent. But honestly. Noob as a sabotage kind of makes sense in a way. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really think about it, but when the grand scheme of things, it, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, ay, ay, ay. And I know he's not a uh, defensive option. I know I got confused earlier. Um, but I think he has better defensive capabilities, even though he's not a defensive unit. It's like, you know, those, those units in like some games are like, they're not built as. A specific tag but they'd be better as that tag I feel like he'd be better as one just a little bit not a lot but like it's, there's nothing really taking away from him right but I also just want to point out um, some of his combos like the first combo as new prepares to throw the dark as new prepares to throw the dark sickle his shadow clone appears and hurls a dark energy mass simultaneously dealing damage and applying an accuracy debuff 
for a duration. Blinding Darkness damage increases by 10% with each combo level. Damage 50% of an attack, accuracy debuff duration. 6 seconds cooldown, 50 seconds overall. Then number 3, when the Shadow Clone hits his foe during Shadow Assault, he does so with immense dark energy, stealing a percentage of the foe's special meter and returning it as a special meter gain to noob. Special meter transfer 20% cooldown 20 seconds. Like, see, see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, that's just that's just way too much. Like that's just the, the power drain is just is so broken. I just I just don't understand what they were thinking. Like him and her with the special meter drain it would go nuts. It would literally go nuts. If you have them both, I, try them out. Let me know because I actually want to see how that would work. And now, lastly, since I'm not putting in the regular Scorpion here, because again, four stars and above. If he is a four star, let me know because I, I generally forget how he when he starts off what he starts off at. I, I swear. It's a three star. I could be wrong. Let me let me double check the database one second. Yeah, he's a three star. Okay, so we're gonna leave Scorpion for like another video. But does not say he's not good or anything. It's just you know I just want to do four stars and up. Okay, so lastly, Hellfire Scorpion. Now, unfortunately, I also don't have this man. It it, it feels like this game is purposely shafting me. It seems like this game is purposefully shafting me. It's not right by any means. I don't know what I done to <laughs> to deserve such treatment but i don't think i deserve it okay i, I don't really think that's a like I, I didn't ask for it but like i got it but like i, I still don't want it that's that's me you know what i'm saying but yeah no i don't have him but again from what i'm reading and what i'm observing right now he does seem like their definitive uh melee unit again with the burn heal and unhealable that that that, that little that little combo can really do some damage. Um, I just want to read the first combo real quick. I think it's really interesting. Um, following Even Breath, Scorpion unleashes Hellfire on his foe, dealing damage for ugh, dealing damage and applying burn for a duration. Damage 60% of attack burn duration six seconds. My 60% and that's just that, that's just like base stats. Like that's just and granted. Like that's gonna stay at that number unless um. You know, each combo, I believe, will upgrade it, but I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. Um, so, yeah, that's still absurd. And number three, I don't, I don't mind it either, but number three is okay. Following Death Spin, Scorpion attacks his foe with a kick and chain combo attack, dealing damage. If Netherrealm Ire is active and Scorpion's Kunai is ignited, the chain hits apply burn. Damage 84%. What? What the? 84% of damage? What? I'm, I'm sorry? <laughs> What were they? What were they thinking? I'm confused. <laughs> what, what were they? Are, are they all right? There's, is I'm just okay. All right. I just, I just, I just don't know. I just, I generally don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to know, but I don't know. I want to talk about Hellfire Slashes real quick. This is his. Um, I think this is second auto ability. I could be wrong. Um. Hellfire Slashes is Scorpion charges his foe and unleashes three Hellfire Slashes. The slashes deal his foe damage, and Scorpion channels all his fury into this final slash, creating an explosion of vengeful fire that deals area of effect burn. Love area of effect, you love to see it. And unhealable for a duration. Two additional foes caught in the eruption. He's just doing so much damage over time, and then the unhealable too is gonna go crazy it's gonna go stupid and granted this is only level one if you were to max this to level seven um damage would be 980 percent of your attack and the unhealable would be for seven seconds that is again it's not a long time in like real time i guess but like for games i, I get seven seconds it can be a lot and to when it comes to measuring it out but uh yeah no if i were to do this like best to worst um i don't know i might these can all be interchangeable, right? Because it just depends on what you what you really mean. Do you care about you know being a, having a support on your team? Do you care about doing more damage? Because if you care about more damage, then you'd like to consider running the Hellfire Scorpion. But if you want to consider about your support options, then you do these two and your defense. Obviously, this guy. Again, even though me personally, I just feel like he's just he's just better. He he's just. He's him for some reason. But yeah, no, honestly, any of these can be interchangeable. I don't really have, like, this isn't really best to worst for me. But, like, if you want to have a best to worst, you're welcome to do so. Um, again, for me, new. Okay, you know what? Honestly, just for you guys, just so y'all don't get mad at me, I'll put him here, okay? Just just for that. I, I can feel the comments already getting out of me again. Um, we'll, we'll leave him here. We'll leave him here. Um, 
do I want to rearrange it? Honestly, no. Because last <laughs> last time, y'all cup. I mean, I don't really. It's not that deep, but um, no, I'll leave it here. Uh, I think it's honestly good. So let me know what you guys think of this too in the comment section below. Do you guys agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, my name is LC. Have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you all later.